Hey folks, this is CD Systems. Welcome back. Look what I got. Thought this was kind of neat. I am doing some reorganization here in the workshop because I've got some uh, some upcoming projects I needed to get organized for it. And I came across the cases that I had sitting in a pile, and I you know I pulled this one out of it. I thought this was a neat case. It's pretty old. I I, uh, I picked it. I got this for free. Uh, someone was just throwing it away. This is, um, it's an old, it was an old IBM client PC, something you'd find at like a business, um, you know, where they have lots of terminals near this would be one terminal. Um, and I grabbed it because instead of just letting them throw it away, because there was some about it that caught my eye. And I want to show you that right now. So this opens up like this, so you can get at your internals. Motherboard originally came all the way under here, and the way to access that is that flipped up and I thought that was kind of neat I wanted to do some sort of a create creative mod or something like that with something that flipped up maybe do some sort of motorization or put some actuators in here or something like that but you know life happens um, personal projects get pushed further and further back eventually that back burner becomes something that's never that's never touched so instead of just throwing this away since I'm not since I'm never gonna get to it I thought I would actually give it away to one of you guys um, so what I want to know is what would you guys do with it? I was originally thinking either like a bit one big window or two individual windows or maybe a window that went like this, you know, you, you know, left this piece, left this port here black and then like, you know, a, like an L-shaped window. Um, if we take a look at it internally, there is enough room in here. We'll use these for mock-up. Um, I, was, I was thinking motherboard could go here and then you would need an SFX power supply. Um, it's a small form factor. I was thinking maybe put something like that. Like maybe put it here on the side like that so that way the power switch and all that could be accessed from the side or maybe you wouldn't even probably, probably wouldn't even need to gain access to this very much because how often do you actually, you know, turn this on and off? And with a case that opens up this easily, you could just easily just open it up and you know flip the switch. But I was thinking maybe put that like there. You, you can have your cables. And then there's also a, there's plenty of room in here. This is a uh, an R9 290X from uh, AMD. It's got an EK water block on it and a custom backplate. Well, I'm not really custom, but I customized it. Um, but I was thinking, you know, mount this vertically with a riser right here. So you can see that there's there's plenty of room here for a full length graphics card with room to spare. You know, and there's room there's plenty of room here for your power cables to connect to. Um, and there's plenty of thickness too for like say if you have one of those really big uh, coolers, like the one of the three slot coolers, um, there'd be plenty of room for that. Um, Obviously, this panel would have to come off. Have to make a new one out of new, new custom one, probably machine it out of aluminum, so you can get the rear I/O and also mount the graphics card slots in here. Um, all of this would probably come off. This is where you would put a CD drive. Um, your hard drive would go here. It's got this neat little thing here. Um, right here, there was two. I believe they're like 80 millimeter fans. These guys. I've never even heard of this brand before. It's super red, or super, must be good. Um, but there are two of them there. I don't even know if they work. And then there's a slot here for a, uh, a three and a half inch floppy drive. Who, who remembers those things? God, I feel old. But that's pretty much how it, how it lays out. You can fit a full-fledged, you know, full-fledged gaming PC in here and it would be a stretch but you may even be able to fit some water cooling in here maybe a 240 radiator i'd probably go with a cross throw flow the cross flow is uh, when you have an in and an out on opposite sides instead of two on the same side so it'll come in one and out the other so that way you know it would be a stretch but you could do it size internally across from the side we're just over 30 centimeters front to back we're about 34 centimeters, and then you can even close the top with this still open. From the top to bottom, 
it is we're, you're looking at just over eight centimeters um, for it for an internal height so keep that in mind when you guys are thinking I really want to mod this case really really bad so what I want to know I want everybody to start you know commenting below or emailing me my email will be in the link and it will be in the description but uh, I want to know your guys idea of what you guys would do with it it would make a great like you know portable like a land machine what type of a theme would you do what would you put here you know what type of a window would you do on it what color scheme you know this thing's gonna be getting you know full paint and everything um, and the person that gives me the coolest and most descriptive idea I'll, I'm, I'm gonna work with you personally on it we'll get the case built that we will get the case modded and ready to go and I'll ship it out to you um, this is all this is worldwide so there are no limitations everybody from all, all faces of the globe you now again it's an old case but this is 2017 we have the power and the technology and acrylic to do it <laughs> so let me know what you guys think uh, again leave, leave uh, comments below and email me cyberdensystems at gmail.com um, so I hope to hear from you guys and see what you guys come up with. Till then, then out.